up, peeps? It's your girl, Lash Come Back to Girl Takes. Well, it's a time, guys. It's for a short time. And this one is through Alter. This one is titled We Together. <laughs> I'm feeling that title. So I'm definitely curious to see what this is about. So, with this, I'm just going to jump into it. Save the rest of my thoughts for you guys. Right out the gate. Ugh. having a moment since you hear the music. What happened? Ugh. with him he's just acting and he's still just standing oh my god is that the next day what is going on with this what Feeling the music, like really feeling it.
just rolling her all around him. He's looking at his friend like, what's the fuck with you? No longer? They human? Again? Oh. All right, you guys. I enjoyed this horse show immensely. First of all, let me shout out the director, Henry Kaplan, the composer of this music. I want to say Karan Heard. And then the two main focal points of this fire uh, horse show. I want to say Martel. What is it? Uh, Rudd and I want to say Chris McAfee. This was, I so enjoyed this because it was not what I was truly expecting to be the end result of what was going to happen in this horror show. You know, definitely seemed what looks to be some sort of zombie apocalypse happening outside of this building on the outskirts of the building. And you're seeing a scene where something's thrown and causes the, this little boom box to start playing music and you can see it affects one of them. And, you know, as they said, you know, zombie awakened. And now I can see what the overall, that little statement means truly. And I'm just, of course, you know, this, that zombie, you know, feeling the vibe of the music, whatever. And then all of a sudden having a little bit of like a flashback, a moment where they're remembering something and it starts dancing and dancing so effortlessly just and dancing around them. Like, you know, they were oblivious to what he was doing with the moves, whatever, not knowing on eventually his friend starts to kind of run like they're trying to get to the people. The ones that actually decided to come out the building, like I should have should have stayed put. Okay, that's a whole nother story right there. But he sees and then eventually kind of look at him and it's just like, you know, thinking like, what are you doing? But then he sees a move that he's doing that he has a moment where he has a flashback and he eventually kind of, you know, chimes in and they start doing a nice little sequence, you know, together, which is something from a, a flashback of memory, what they were doing inside of where they work out. I want to say maybe some little eatery or pizza where I couldn't tell, you know, uniform and all. And then you see two of the girls who was two of them that were still kind of stuck in the building trying to get out. I just, the music, that music had me going. I was right up my alley. I was trying to stay focused and not doing too much jamming over here. So, you know, I just, yeah, I love when, when you're thinking you're going to get something in a horse and all, and it gives you something else, probably a little bit of what you're expecting, but that and then some. And this was just like, not what I was expecting, just, it was so good. I Yeah. And I will say this, I'm bummed for them because you see clearly they broke out of what was holding them as, as zombies, the red eyes and all that. And they were back and they're looking at something. And then all of a sudden, <laughs> the rest of the zombies are like, at first kind of trying to understand what's going on when they realize... Oh no, they look like they're just regular people. Let's go ahead and eat them and eat them again and not realizing or not, you know, whatever, however. But I was just like, I feel so bad. I really wanted them to get away. <laughs> I really wish they ran, but it is what it is. I can only, you know, think of what I would have wanted an interpretation of what could have happened at the end. But, you know, and, and overall, 
so, so, so good. Shout out to all four of these gentlemen. Just, just amazing. Amazing. I just, like I said, the music, the direction, and then the two gentlemen, you know, Martel Rudd and Chris McGaffey. I just, yeah. I don't know which one, um, either two, but the one who was dancing the most, he was just, he was doing a damn thing. And I was here for it. So with that said, you guys, comment below. Let me know what you think. And with that said, I'll see you guys in the next one. You guys take care.